Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we watched the meeting between King Tolton and uh, the King of Goza. And they have announced that they are going to join voice forces. <clears throat> so now we are back in control of Kaim and Sarah and we are going to look for Cook and Mac. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to your skills. And e equip, uh, let's see here, anti-sleep on the Kime. And hopefully that should be sufficient. Uh, go ahead and board the north elevator whenever you've taken care of everything in the area. And quickly run and head into the train on the northern platform And once you on, are on board the train, you will be in pursuit by two other trains armed uh, with uh, military equipment for Goza. They're going to stop us by force. Let's do it. you'll be put into an event battle with a few mechanical enemies so you're gonna want to take them out one at a time That should take care of one train. We gotta stop them. And then the second one will pull up next to us. Just uh, use magic to take them out.
more Flourish and put him out of business. And now the second train is down. Super train coming at us. This is called the armor train. He is a boss and he has 5500 HP. So what we're gonna want to do is put combo with Kaim and go ahead and buff Kaim up with powers. Oh, and it looks like he is going to be immune to physical attacks. That's alright. I got something for him. How about some spirit magic gamble? Because he's got a very high uh, defense for magic. Physical invincibility has dissolved, so you can use combo and keep up gamble with Sarah. And that should do it. Too much time. Let's move. Yes, let's go. And after those three trains are taken care of, you can now successfully continue catching up to Cook and Mac. Meanwhile, the control will switch to someone different. That reminds me. We mounted a large-scale operation against piracy the other day. Piracy? Yes. Our local waters have been ravaged by pirates, taking advantage of our recent military weakness following the catastrophe at the Highlands. So I dispatched our remaining forces to mop them up and communicate far and wide that Ura will not be defeated. If your forces can defeat pirates, they should be sufficient for most any requirement. You are too kind. I am particularly proud that we succeeded in capturing the most feared pirate on the seas, Sed. Sed? What is it, Sed? He's alive. My son. Huh? Hey. Don't say anything about this now. We don't want any trouble. You don't have to tell me twice. Now, I am aware that you've selected Kent as the site for the handover of Grand Staff information. I wonder, though, about the security detail. Will they be sufficient? I would gladly dispatch Orin forces to take part as well. Their morale is much higher following their successes against the pirates. I am certain their presence would be helpful. Your concern is appreciated, Your Majesty. The forces already dispatched there, however, are from Goetz's main battle force, the pride of our military. No unwanted visitors will even get close to Kent. May I rest assured that the information will be in good hands once it has been delivered? You may indeed. Every effort will be made, if it means Goetz may also share in this magnificent magic energy. Pardon me for interrupting, but I'm afraid I don't fully understand what your majesties are speaking of. 
Ah, yes, forgive me. We are speaking of the construction of a second Grand Staff. I still don't understand. We immortals asked that Grand Staff be destroyed. Kaim told us that the purpose of this meeting was to avert war. Indeed. War has been averted. King Tolton and I have come to an agreement, thanks to your Majesty's own words. We thank Kaim for introducing you to us. With the information provided by King Tolton, Gotza will build its own Grand Staff and reap the benefits of the tremendous magic energy that it offers. Our two countries will thus be equal in power. Neither country will have an advantage over the other. Look at this. Love will protect against all. This alliance springs from my love for my people and my efforts to protect them. I trust you will appreciate the significance. This is hypocrisy. We both know what Kaim and Sarah would think if they were to hear you speak this way. I am aware of the contradiction. Regardless, if it will prevent war and bloodshed, I will choose this path and the equivocation that accompanies it. Wait a minute. You're not getting it. This isn't what we were talking about. We told you Grand Staff was dangerous. We never said you should make more of them. What are, what are you thinking? You can't do this. You're playing right into Gongora's hands. So after the scenes have played, you will be in control of Gongora. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head south. And then head either right or left down the steps to make an announcement.
Behold, we have completed the most powerful magic engine of all time! Grand Star! I, Kongora, your royal advisor, am most grateful for the support of each and every citizen of Ura! For it is you who have made this possible. And while Grand Staff will guarantee further progress for our country, this progress will be born not of magic, but through your collective efforts! Unfortunately, this momentous occasion is also marred by tragedy. It is my sad duty to inform you that King Tolton, who has tirelessly devoted himself to you, his people, passed away yesterday. His Majesty met with the King of Kotsa to discuss an alliance prior to upcoming military maneuvers. His Majesty was never able to establish that alliance. Kotsa informed us that His Majesty fell suddenly ill and perished with terrible swiftness. However, our sources in Kotsa have determined that is a lie. In fact, His Excellency was clearly the target of a treacherous assassination! Before he departed for Gotsa, King Tolton may have foreseen his impending death. Therefore, he entrusted me with full, unconditional authority to act in his stead. <sighs> Such a tragedy. ...that this has come to pass. His Majesty... ...gave his all to his people... ...and his country. My fellow Urans... ...pray... ...give this powerless one... ...your help and support! Thank you. Thank you. His Majesty was all too aware that war is a foolish choice, as am I. However, to simply concede to whatever terms Gotsa may dictate would constitute a national outrage. Now! Let us take the opportunity afforded us by the completion of Grand Staff to bring glory to our fallen king's memory! Let us demonstrate Ura's might before Gotha! So now you figured out that Gongora has some twisted plan he's about to put into action. When you get control, head back up the stairs and back to the north. And step onto the teleporter to be teleported inside of Grand Staff.
chosen you seven sorcerers, each a master, as my dark acolytes. As of this moment, you are clandestine operatives reporting directly to the royal house. You will be called upon to serve me faithfully as I take command. Therefore, I ask you all, are you prepared to die in my service for the royal house of Hedera? Excellent. Now, we proceed to the tests. I will attack you with magic, and you shall not guard yourself in any way. Shall not resist. You must bear my attack in silence. Alright, so you will be thrusted into a event battle as soon as you enter Grand Staff with uh, seven sorcerers. Now you're going to want to use composite magic. Use all stonus first. And that will take out the black acolyte. Then use all flares. Take out another alkalite. Now all Aquarius. That will take out another acolyte. All Windus. Once you've done all composite magic, use the black magic spell breaks. Finally, the white magic spell, Shyness. Please, stop! How does dying show her loyalty? have done well, and proven your devotion. Arise! Lord Gongora, please, help me with your magic! I told you not to resist me. You have proven how limited your devotion truly is. Such as you! Has no place in my darkness. Now, listen well. You have no souls. No identity. All that matters is your devotion to me and your superior mastery of magic. Open your eyes, my acolytes, and 
hear my orders. These are your targets. The Gutsun Army, presently in Kent. The castle of Gutsa. The royal carriage, 40 kilometers west of the castle. And another train, 100 kilometers east of the castle. Are we meant to attack the Immortals, my lord? Yes. But they cannot die. I have all the time in the world. Mighty our fleet is. I certainly is. is frozen! What's going on? I sense magic energy. Far more powerful than anything I have ever encountered. It's the whole Highlands all over again! Whoa, 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 stop it! Wait, just, hey, you don't think this is Grand Staff's doing, do you, huh? Gongora! So Kai was right. No choice makes any uh, difference now. Uh, King Tolton! Uh, what is the meaning of this? I don't know. King Tolton? I tell you, I don't know! We cannot hesitate now. Implement the contingency plan immediately! Yes, sir, your majesty. Contingency plan? That is the... How would that work, uh, actually? 
reprisal. It's the only response to oppression such as this. No! That's the worst thing you could do! As a fellow head of state, you too should understand that military action is sometimes the best option for defending one's people. That's ridiculous! You have no idea what you're dealing with! Okay, he's driving this thing. Contact him, God! What has happened? What is he doing? Flee, Your Majesty! Must escape! Where do you think you're going? King Totan! Seth! That was supposed to be me! Hurry! Don't play here for my sake. If we're doomed, I'd rather we freeze together. Maybe even sealed with a kiss. Oh, really? Well, you know, everybody, you know, needs sense of humor. <laughs> if we're gonna die, I might as well die laughing. <laughs> Silly sense of purpose can stand before that. <laughs>
so after some spectacular scenes, um, you will be on the train that is that same train that Cook and Mac are on. So there's a refresh point right behind you. Go ahead and get refreshed. And we're going to save our game. And that was a long set of cutscenes, so we have like no time. And the the video actually went overboard. It's like 30, almost 37 minutes. So I apologize for that, but I didn't want to cut you guys short on some cutscenes. And I know you guys are probably watching because there were some, some pretty badass shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next time and we'll pick up where we left off on the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey.